Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up to boring, mundane delivery. You want to see some more boring, mundane delivery? Ooh, you wait till I start uploading Star Citizen videos? I'm gonna be delivering boxes like you wouldn't believe. So, alright, quick little update on Death Stranding. Um, well, I mean, first off, <laughs> just let me stress, I'm loving the game. Um, but, per my previous video, you would know I was having some peculiar controller issues. So, quick recap. Come on, Sammy boy. I'm, I'm getting there. Quick recap. I couldn't get the mouse to feel right in this game, so I wanted to use mouse joystick. The problem is, this is a Steam input API natively supported game, and it doesn't have mouse joystick as a supported input style. If you do that, you have to eliminate all of the Steam input stuff and go all gamepad. That seemed fine. Now the problem... <laughs> the new problem is I kept getting, like, ghost inputs. It's really hard to explain. And I couldn't... Only gonna get harder. It, yeah, it, that's, that's what I'm getting into. And I couldn't get... Uh, I couldn't capture it in footage. I tried to record some, but what would happen was... Like... It was particularly becoming a problem once I got a gun. But it was any time I would get in here and need to charge. Like sometimes it would fail... It would fail to recognize that I was holding right trigger to charge and just like quick fire two or three times. That was the most clear and frustrating example. But then the more... I got into the game, I realized that was happening with other inputs too. Like sometimes he would hop on the trike, hop off, then punch in the air. Well, that was like it was pressing, you know, the action button like three times. Same thing with likes. Sometimes I would try to push like only one time, but it would do three of them. So, long story short, I was having problems with my all gamepad config, so... <sighs> yeah. So I went back and did end up going with the Steam input API. So I have all these, you know, all the game actions, like I was covering that in the previous video, like these. And I had to go with mouse. And so I was finally able to get mouse feeling okay, but still, I mean, I had to crank up the sensitivity, smoothing, I think it's even more on here, yeah, like this, this is higher than I usually ever have to crank any of these, you know, lowering the in-game sensitivity, just, the like, I, I appreciate all the tips on the previous video, but really, my frustration was less getting the mouse to work, and more that I can't just use mouse joystick. Mouse joystick still feels smoother to me, but I mean, I you know, I was able to... I, I can live with it if, if it means I can play the game and I don't have weird ghost inputs. And in my testing so far, it does seem like that's alleviated, so this was more of just an update mea culpa. You know, yeah, I, I was wrong. I don't bypass the Steam Input API in this game and go all gamepad. Or try it, but if you're noticing weird controller problems, it might be because you did that. Since I switched back over, I haven't noticed that at all. I don't know if it's something that the game just can't handle... Two wheels up. Shut up. That the game just can't handle dual stage triggers? Uh, I couldn't figure out what was causing it. It wasn't just trigger functions, because sometimes it would do it on this action, and sometimes it would do it on the like button, like I said, so... I couldn't quite figure it out, <laughs> but... This version is working. I will still argue that it's not as smooth with the, with the camera movements, but... I tried to get as much uh, from my previous profile as I could in this one, and one benefit is... Oh. 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 
you can see the gyro. I do have the motion sense. Though sometimes that's not going to work. And what you'll need to do is let go of the bumper and then come back in. Because what is happening is... For that motion... For the motion smoothing to kick in, there has to be nothing on the gyro. So if it's recognizing, you know, the right pad touch, it's it's finicky. It, sometimes, even if I'm not touching the pad, it doesn't recognize and kick in the gyro unless I click the bumper again. So even that is something like, that's a little strange. <laughs> but okay, I'll deal with it. There, so here, like even if it's not kicking in, well then I can just use the left pad as the, no the normal joystick rock. So that's that. So for that, you just want to make sure you go into Options, Controller, and that, well, that's that's another thing. I went back to just toggle sprint. I got rid of my outer edge because that was maybe screwing up acceleration on the trike. I, it just it didn't feel right. Once I switched over to this version, like okay, that's, this this feels much more steady and consistent. But yeah, this. You want to change the controls to motion function. You will also want to change the button icon display to lock that in from auto assign as the default. And button icon here so it locks it in. And I'm keeping the vibration on. Uh, is there also something else? No, I think that was it. Uh, well, for the, for the mouse sensitivity... I took it down to 7, I think the default was 10. I, taking it down even more, yeah, it's just... I'm trying to avoid a situation where I have to max out the Steam input sensitivity, just... Usually you don't have to go that crazy to get... to that extreme to get smooth mouse movement, so... This is feeling fairly responsive to me. Because plus, it's a trade-off. Like, if I lower that and then crank it up, even this is, like, pretty crazy. It becomes really hard to use the mouse in any of the menus. Which is one of the benefits. It makes it a little easier to move around. Like, I can click down... And then, you know, just move the gyro for the mouse. Click, drag, click, drag. Because that's the same from my previous profile. You have down as action. Up is hold cargo. Left. Anybody hear me? Call out. Right. Pull out your armed equipment. Put it back in. Right hold goes into your menu. Another just little separate tweak that I made is while you're it's okay. checking out BB here, if you want to take a picture, just uh, hold start while you're holding the bumper. Bam! And I just did that because I personally have a corded profile and my shortcut is start right bumper which I can't do while I'm... it's a little awkward while you're holding a button. Actually, I could show you that. So I go here... Yeah, see, it just like, whoa, got all confused and pulled up the keyboard. So you don't want to have your corded shortcuts while you're holding something in the game. That'll usually make it glitch out. So that's why I Not bad. did that. Not bad. Um... Oh, also... So if you're in here in the map and you want to rotate it, just hold left stick. And then the right pad is joystick. It's also useful for, like this, scrolling. So now I just have a nice smooth stick. So yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think that's pretty much it. Kind of a little slightly unusual video, like a bit of a retraction, I guess. 
I don't know. It's a, hey, it's all a learning process. Part, a big problem with it too is um, I don't own a console, so I never played this game on PlayStation. I have no idea how it's supposed to control. So until I like really played it a lot, noticed some weird things, and then switched over to a different control method, noticed those weird things don't seem to be part of the game. That was just a problem with something to do with the controller profile, not so much the profile, something to do with just maybe it's exclusive to a Steam controller going all X input. I don't know. But I have, uh, I have seen some others complaining about like multiple inputs from controllers. So I don't know. And maybe that's related to people being advised to turn off the Steam input stuff, like for other controllers. And I, I was even saying that too. Like I bypassed it because it wasn't doing what I wanted. Well, here I am say <laughs> saying I was wrong. You go back in there and you embrace Steam Input API. You hug it and hold it close like your soothing BB. And you rock your gyro. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully I'm done talking about freaking controls in Death Stranding. I just want to get into it and play. Because I, I do really, really like it. And it appeals to many of my sensibilities about... When are gonna get harder? About being mundane, boring, and delivering stuff. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up to boring, mundane delivery. That's, that's like... That's what I excel at. You want to see some more boring, mundane delivery? Ooh, you wait till I start uploading Star Citizen videos? I'm gonna be delivering boxes like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's it. Just gotta... Ugh. Ugh. Just gotta use this stupid terrible mouse emulation. That's what I'm going to hold on to. Nothing you tell me will make it better. Mouse joystick all the way. At least for this game. <laughs> and I'm just joking. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs. <laughs>